Porsche has a long and varied history of building high-performance sports and racing cars, which is why their decision to build an SUV came as such a shock to so many people. You know what, Dagmar? It's not as revolutionary an idea as you might think because Porsche has been competing in off-road events and winning around the world. One example would be the Perry Dakar Rally. What they do is they take their 911 cars and they modify them, and they've come up with some very sophisticated all-wheel drive and anti-skid systems. Yes, and fellow German automakers BMW and Mercedes-Benz did quite well with their trucks, demonstrating that there is a large demand for upscale import SUVs. Well, just how good is the Cayenne? Well, the interior of this vehicle is top-notch. This is the twin-turbo version, all kinds of wood, leather, and real aluminum accent pieces. It has a fabulous stereo from Bose, automatic climate control, and front side and side curtain airbags. There's enough seating space in here to fit five adults. Now, that's more than you can say for the Porsche 911. Plus, there's also 19 cubic feet of luggage space in behind the rear seat. And folding down the rear seat triples the amount of cargo space. And I think you can pretty much park a Porsche 911 in here. The Cayenne's luxury and utility features are certainly on par with other high-end SUVs, but where this vehicle shines is on-road performance, and it's also a solid off-road performer as well. But I don't know who would take a vehicle at this price off-road. Off-road, the Cayenne is truly fantastic. A unique self-leveling air suspension with six adjustable ride height settings allows you to manually adjust the Cayenne's ride height up to a height of 11 inches or 270 millimeters to clear large obstacles. A six-speed automatic Tiptronic transmission is featured in this vehicle. You can drive it in the regular D mode or you can slide it over to Tiptronic for spirited driving. Now this is a permanent four-wheel drive system with 62% of the torque going to the rear wheels and 32% going to the front wheels. But up to 100% can be shifted either front or back for optimum traction. So it really is quite a sophisticated four-wheel drive system. My complaint is when you drive this vehicle in regular D or drive mode, it really takes a while to kick down a gear for for ultimate driving. So for spirited driving, slide it over to Tiptronic and do the shifting yourself. The Cayenne S has 340 horsepower out of a four and a half liter V8. Now we're driving the twin turbo Cayenne that gets a whopping 450 horsepower out of the same four and a half liter motor. But what's incredible, it weighs 2,300 kilograms or 5,200 pounds, but can go from zero to 60, hold on, in an amazing five and a half seconds. Perhaps more surprising than its off-road prowess is how well it handles on the road. Now, the Cayenne Turbo offers immense stability and grip in the corners. It doesn't lean or feel top-heavy. And there's a self-leveling air suspension system that compensates for pitch, lean, and dive. A fully independent suspension and 18-inch tires are standard. 20-inch tires are optional. Perhaps the only thing that I didn't like about the Cayenne's driving experience was the rather wide turning radius. The Porsche Cayenne Turbo is no 911 when it comes to cornering, but the blend of utility and performance is really quite impressive. The Cayenne S is really well priced and competes with other high-end SUVs, but if you offer the twin turbo model, it's very expensive. Dagmar, what do you think of this truck? Well, I love the interior. I think it's truly the epitome of Porsche luxury. They've done a wonderful job. I also really like the fact that this is more of a transformer than it is a truck. You can turn it into anything you need for the day ahead. You can raise the ride height. You can change the softness of the suspension. It's just wonderful in that way, and it's got plenty of power under the hood. The dislikes, though, I think you have trouble instantly accessing all that power under the hood. There's a bit of a delay when you put your foot on the accelerator. That can be trouble in tight traffic situations. Also, there is definitely a visibility difficulty out the rear window. All right, now what I like about the vehicle, first and foremost, I love power. So 450 horsepower, it's really an awesome vehicle. The interior is excellent. It's actually better than Porsche sports cars. The finish is excellent. Five full-size adults, very comfortable, seated in there, and the rear cargo area is bigger than other vehicles in this class. The downside, when you have the vehicle in drive or just basic demo, the transmission, that's what Dagmar's talking about. There's a bit of a delay. It takes a while for that transmission to kick down. Also, the drive-by-wire throttle is very sensitive at low speeds. The big downfall, though, the price. You can buy a Porsche sports car and a second SUV for the price of this beast. I give the Cayenne Twin Turbo a 4. What do you give it? I also give it a 4. That's an 8 out of a 10. Now, Dagmar, you mentioned this is the vehicle that men and women would both like. I think it's the ultimate poser vehicle to have a truck and it's a Porsche. I'll get the camera.